Hi YouTubers, it's uh, Dave, also known as Destination Lego. Okay, I'm just bringing you this quick vlog, or it might not be so quick. Um, I'm just going to show you guys really my Bricklink store, but not in any great detail. Um, I'm also going to show you how I part out my sets um, and my storage, which is pretty much this lot. But I'll show you that again in a little bit more detail later into this vlog video. Okay, so first up, showing you kind of the mess that is um, some of my Lego, which is waiting to be parted out, so you can see kind of piles of it there. And the one that I'm going to part out today is, if I can do this, where are we, is this stack here. There's two sides, there's 20 sets there. Um, but again, I will show you those sets in just a second, but I'm going to tackle... Some of those sets there, they're not all to be parted out by the way, some of these are mine, straight my collection, like that, and that, and that, but there's all this, and there's more behind this, and there's more stacked up over, can't see, but way over in this corner here as well. So anyway, let's get these sets out and take a look. Okay, so here we go, so here are the 20 sets, and what we have is... Lego Friends set 40112, not sure what the name is, some sort of stage catwalk I think it is actually, maybe it'll be the catwalk, um, but that's the set that I'm going to be parting out, like I said 20 of them which you can um, see down there, you've probably already seen these on my main channel in one of my Lego haul videos. Right okay guys, so where I am down on the floor which is where um, I do my parting out, so I've got quite a bit of room down here, um, and very simply, I'm just going to show you with one box to start with, um, I get into the box, I'm not keeping the boxes, so it doesn't really matter how I rip these open, so, rip the box open, get the contents out, so that we end up with an empty box, um, and then it's just a case of seeing what we've got in the box. So we have one, one bag there, a smaller bag. We have two black plates, so they go in a pile. We have a dark bluish grey plate. We have this arch piece. We then have the instructions set of instructions and we have some sort of backdrop and this is a backdrop that comes in the set as well so as you can see there those are the pieces or the separate items that come within this set so the next task is to get all these open and put them all in the relevant pile so let's do that now Right, so there we go, so that's all 20 boxes opened up and as you can see spread out in front of me, like I said, into the relevant piles. So we've got the plates, the larger bag, the smaller bag, the arches, the instructions and these backdrop cards all here. Right, so next is obviously getting all these individual pieces sorted out. So what I use to do that, oh, if I bring them into shot, these cups here. See there, it's just a cup like that, plastic cup, and I'm pretty sure it's Mardi Gras Man 23 who I saw using these. If it wasn't you, I apologise. I'm pretty sure it was uh, where I got the uh, well, not say the idea from because I basically copied him. Um, but it's perfect, absolutely perfect um, for uh, using to sort um, the separate pieces out. Okay, so the next task, the way I will tackle this is I will open up one bag 
um, or, or 20 of this one bag. Get them all spread out in front of me and then start sorting those out. Then I'll go on to the next bag, the smaller bag, and do that. Obviously, a lot of these pieces are already separate. So, for example, I will put all these pieces, if I can get them into one, into one of these, like so. So, there's all 20 of the arches in one of the cups, and I just put that to one side like so. Obviously all the instructions are already sorted, so we can put those out the way at the back, like that, and these backdrop cards um, as well. We can shove those out the way at the back. Obviously we've already got all these plates sorted as well. Um, we've only got 40 of those there, so a good quantity. And we've got on to Bricklink, but they can go on the back as well. And they might be a lowish grey with 20 of those um, ones there, so put those also at the back. Right, so next up I'm going to get these opened up and then I'll be back. Okay, so there we go. So that's the first 20 bags. You can see a very large pile of Lego there. Um, there's all the bags. So I also keep the plastic um, little bags that the Lego comes in. And that's so that when I sell my pieces, they get put in here, um, wrapped and sellotaped to obviously keep them protected as best as they can. Credit goes to clutch at bricks on the dollar um, for that. Um, well, certainly he's the first person that I saw doing that on his YouTube channel. So, yeah, copied you as well. A lot of copying going on, but you know what? Learn from the best. So, as I said, they're on the bags. 20 of the medium-sized bags, so they will be kept. And like I said, when I sell, I've still got 20 of the smaller bags to sort. So, next thing is the actual sorting. Okay, so like I said, I use these plastic containers, so... It's quite simply a case of finding a piece, so I'm going to go for this piece, it's quite easy to see. And you pick them out, and obviously sort them into the relevant container. As carefully as we can. Okay, right. So. There may well be some more in there, so you can see that. Loads of those in there. I've just lost one in there. So next up, I would pick out another one that stands out. So medium azure again, but what we have here is a 4x6 plate. So get the 4x6 plates. And all the same colour. all of those and then we can put those to one side as well. I tend to do stack the same colours on top of each other to save some space. So I'm going to get all this sorted out so I'm not going to bore you to death uh, watching me do this but you kind of uh, get the principle now so sort this out and then I will be back. Right so there we go so that is that first humongous pile of Lego or 20 bags sorted out um, into the relevant parts and as you can see here I've got them sorted into colours as well so all the blacks all the whites there um, etc so for example bring this in here all these pieces in here those white one by two by two you can see quite a few of those in there. Okay, so next up what I have to do is get all the smaller bags. Still got still got another 20 bags to go. So it's exactly the same principle, the same process rather, um, as with those larger bags, which is the case of getting them all lengthened out run of me like so and then I have to do exactly the same all over again which is obviously 
sort all those pieces out. So let's get this next lot sorted out and I'll be back again. Okay, so there we go again. Another large pile of Lego in front of me. This time lots and lots of obviously smaller pieces. So uh, I have to be a little bit more careful when um, sorting through this lot. And again, I've kept all the bags. Uh, you can see there for obviously again when I sell parts from my brick link store so exactly the same again pick a color time you know, I'll pick some of the stands out to start with so these pieces here two by two plates and start putting them in so get all this sorted and I will be back again okay so there we go so there is 20 of those sets 40112 all sorted out which we can see here um, just to show you again so there are loads of black pieces in there like so all stacked the microphones all stacked there on top of one another um, ready to be sorted via bricklink and put away um, into my plastic containers um, and then uploaded and live in Bricklink ready for you guys to click on there and purchase any of these pieces you see before you or indeed the other 30,000 plus pieces that I now have in my Bricklink store. So what I'm not going to do on this video, I'm not going to go for the process of um, showing you how I put it onto Bricklink etc. I will do a separate video um, at a later date for that. What I will do though is just quickly show you um, one of the plastic containers, just an example, sorry, of what I use to store uh, my pieces in. So I'll just go and get one of those now. Okay, so here we go. So here we can see one of the plastic containers, um, which you can see hopefully there, and it will have some sort of lettering on it. So this is AX, you can see it there and there. So that's the, I know which um, plastic container to go to. And then each little compartment is numbered, which you can see there, going all the way along down to the bottom. So when someone buys a piece from my Bricklink store, if they buy, for example, one of these vehicle pieces, the chassis, you can see there, when that is sold, it would say in my remarks that that is in AX18. So I know to go to AX18 to pick that piece out. So there you can go, you can see them all in there. And these just stack on top of each other. Very convenient, it works for me. Doesn't take up nowhere near as much space as obviously the um, stack ons. Um, I have got one of those at the moment that I'm using. That's purely because I ran out of space. Then I went and bought some more of these, as you can see here. So here is an empty one already to part into. You can see there I've got smaller compartments at the top for the smaller pieces, then slightly bigger ones there, and then some big ones there. I've also got a big um, container that holds 24 with some really deep um, slots in it. They're all stacked up there, so I'm not going to show you one of those now, but when I do my next video, um, then you'll get to see that. But you can see there, they stack on top um, very nicely. So you can see that if I tip that over, you can see it's still sitting on top of it okay okay guys there we go so hopefully um you enjoyed this video i'm always going to call it a vlog or it is on my vlog channel but um <laughs> obviously a bit of a long video but i just wanted to share with you how i part my sets out and kind of a bit of a glimpse into my bricklink store um which we can see here and hopefully you can see down here are the bigger uh, containers that i put some of my larger pieces into um, so you can see that's the small one two stacks of small ones and that there and all the way down are the large ones but anyway guys you'll get a better look at that when i actually show you um, in another video me actually um, listing it on bricklink and then actually parting it out into these um, containers so keep your eyes peeled for that when i do do it um, eventually i'll put a link down in this video but i'm not quite sure when I'm going to get around to doing that. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this um, video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't subscribed to my main channel, Destination Lego, the link is down in the description. 
So go ahead and subscribe to that channel too. And if you're interested to buy any of these pieces or indeed any of those pieces in there, then please go and uh, click on the link to my brick link store as well. Anyway, guys, that's it. And I uh, look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers.